Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look, I'm doing this purple glitz and glam look. Um, I actually don't really do color for eye looks often. I'm really enjoying this. I'm loving experiencing with new colors. So if you're liking this look, um, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, and also stay tuned to see how to achieve this look. start with the eyes today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this is going to be my first time using it as a primer. So let's see how it goes today. So I'm just going to apply a little on my eyelids. Then I'm just going to take a beauty blender and blend that on my lid. A lot of people like the Tarte Shape Tape as a uh, base, however, Usually when I use concealer, it doesn't work for me. Usually it creases, but we'll see how this one goes. And for the eyes, I'm going to start by applying a transition color. And for transition today, I'm using the color Silk Cream in the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palette. I'm just going to take a blending brush and apply them mainly on the outer edge uh, where my crease is and kind of Blend it up. I'm going to go with a slightly darker brown color and just apply that um, same area where we applied the transition color just to darken it up a little bit. And the color I am using is the color Pluter again from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And just going to blend this with um, the shadow that we applied earlier. This you just want to lightly brush it on top. Next I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and apply that mainly on the outer edge. Um, and once we blend it, we're going to blend it up, however, not too far up. Today I'm using the color Abyss from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette again. And with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply mainly on the outer edges. And blend it upwards, but making sure we don't blend it too far up. With this, you just want to barely touch the eyelid with the brush. So we'll just leave it like that for now. Now I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and blend those two colors together. Now that we have those two colors kind of blended, we're going to now take a purple eyeshadow and apply on the center of the lid. And the shade of eyeshadow I'm using today is the color Single in the James Charles palette. Again, just taking an eyeshadow brush and packing that on in the center. And then next I'm going to take the same brush that we were using to blend the black eyeshadow with the transition color. I'm going to take that brush and go ahead and blend out the purple eyeshadow, the transition color as well with the black. And then next, I think what I want to do is I want to take a shimmery nude and apply it on the inner corner of my eye. So the shade I'm going to use is the color Beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just going to take a smaller eyeshadow brush and apply it in the inner corner. I'm going to take that blending brush that we used for blending again. Um, not so clean anymore, but just going to blend these two shadows together. And 
And then I do want the purple to be more enhanced. I'm going to go back in with that purple eyeshadow and try to make it more intense. At the same time, making sure that we try to blend it in. If it doesn't blend in well, we'll go back with the other brows, trying to blend the colors in more. And next, um, I do want these top edges to be a little more blended and not so harsh. So I'm going to go back in with that transition color again to make it look more smooth. Alright, so we're just about done. I think I want the um, eye look to stand out more, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some glitter. And for glitter today, I'm using the NYX Glitter Pigment in the color Blasphemy. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, but I got this really cute set from the NYX store. Uh, it was their holiday collection with a bunch of glitter pigments and the glue. I'm really enjoying this. Alright, um, so I'm just going to apply some on the cap. And I'm just going to take the glitter glue from the holiday collection. I'm just going to put some on my fingers. I'm just going to apply it mainly on the center. And blend it up as well as out. And this does dry pretty quick. So once you have that apply, you want to quickly go in with the glitter. So I'm just going to take a flat brush, uh, grab some of that glitter and pack it on the lid. Alright, and then same thing with the other side. Again, taking that glue and applying it maybe on the center and blending it up as well as outwards. Again, taking a flat brush, grabbing some of that glitter and packing it on. Just gonna clean this flat brush because next I want to take a different glitter and apply in the inner corner. And before I do that, I'm just gonna put this little sticker back on the lid so that the glitter does not um, get all over inside the lid. All right, and so the next um, glitter I'm gonna be applying is the NYX Glitter Pigment in the color Crystal. Again, I'm just going to apply some of that on the lid. And then taking my glue again and applying the inner corner. Taking a flat brush, going in with that glitter and packing it on. With this glitter, you do want to bring a little bit onto the purple so that it looks blended. And so it's just so that it's not purple and all of a sudden a different glitter. So bring that a little bit on the purple side. Going back into the glue again and finding out the inner corner. Flat brush, grabbing glitter and applying that. Again bring that onto the purple. And this I do want to blend it up a little bit as well. So it looks like it's fading away. And then because I do feel like I brought the glitter a little up too high on this side, I'm gonna take a spoolie and see if I can brush some of that off. Alright, that looks better. And actually, let's do the side a little bit. Now that we're all glam and glitz and have glitter all over my face, I'm now gonna, um, See if I can brush some of that off again with this tissue. Um, hopefully the foundation covers it in a bit. What if I use this bully and just scrape my whole face? <laughs> hmm, it works. Alright, um, next I'm gonna apply some eyeliner and again I'm using the NYX matte look and liner. Just gonna make a wing liner. Right now that we're all done with the eyeshadow and the eyeliner, let's go ahead and move on to the face. 
Today again I'm using the Smashbox Auto Finish Primer. I'm just going to apply this all over my face and really rub it in. And I really fill in those pores. Next for foundation, today I'm going to be using the Cover FX Power Play. And this one does dry down pretty quick. So I just want to apply a little bit each time and then blend it. I'm just going to take this Morphe Beauty Blender and blend this out. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next area. Oops, a little too much. It's a little too much, but we'll just go ahead and blend this out. Alright, let's go ahead and do the forehead. In the forehead, I don't apply too much because I don't need that much up there. And then going back in with the Tarte Shape Concealer. Just gonna apply a little bit under the eyes, chin, on the nose, and on the forehead. Again, taking a beauty blender and just blending that up towards the under eye. All right, now that I look like a ghost, let's go ahead and apply some bronzer and bring some of that color back into my face. And again, my favorite bronzer, I'm taking the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. Just gonna lightly brush this under my cheeks. I'm gonna apply some on my forehead. Put some under the jawline. Alright, and then my same routine as always. I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush, go in back with that bronzer, and contour my nose. I'm going to apply some under the lips. Today I'm kind of in a rush so I'm not going to bake today. So next let's go ahead and do a blush. Today I feel like I want to look a little more pink. So I'm going to take my Tarte in the color Fearless. I'm just going to dab that on. Alright, let's go ahead and finish up the under eye shadow and then we'll finish the face in a bit. And so with the under eyes, I'm going to go in with a darker purple. And I'm going to be using this color Escape from the James Charles palette. And with this, I'm just going to apply all over the under eye area. Alright, so that's it for the under eye area. And let's go ahead and apply some highlighter. And for highlighter today, I'm using the shade Face from the James Charles palette. I'm just going to apply this on the high points of my cheeks. I'm also going to apply some on my chin area. Put some on my cupid's bow. Little on my forehead and the nose. And for lips today, I'm going to be using the Dose of Color um, in the color Sleepless. Great, right, guys. So I'm back with my lashes on and hair done. Um, I did. Go ahead and just strain my hair a little more. Um, but let's go ahead and finish it off with some setting spray. 
And today I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm just gonna spray this all over the face. I just like to take something and fan it dry. So that is the completed look for today. Um, my boyfriend is waiting for me downstairs. I'm going to go ahead and head out um, again. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video.